Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna show you how to make six figures a year with YouTube. I'm gonna go over three steps that you can take to get there. Number one is gonna be studying successful channels who are already doing it. Number two is dedicate to delivering high value quality content videos consistently. And number three is gonna be studying what's working and double down on it. This is how I've been able to create a six figure income from YouTube alone, in addition to my multi-million dollar a year business. And I'm gonna go over everything step-by-step step of what you need to become successful doing this. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna show you how you can make six figures a year with YouTube like I do. Now strap in, take notes, get out your notepad and pen or pencil or whatever it is, because this is gonna be a lot of content and I'm gonna go over everything step by step. So first is studying successful channels who are already doing it, preferably in your niche. If you are trying to do interior decorating, study other interior decorating channels. Again, you don't want to guess. Look at what other people are doing in your niche. Don't wing it and just follow in their footsteps. Make a list of the top channels in your niche. It's very easy. Just look for the people with the most subscribers. It's all public information. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go to the most popular tab. You wanna look at their videos and click sort by most popular to see what's working the best. Most channels have only a very few number of videos which are the most popular ones which are driving all of the views and all of the subscribers. Model those videos they're doing with similar video topics. This is what all YouTubers do. Model their videos that they're doing, the most popular ones, and do your own similar video topics. Learn what the channels are doing right and what the channels are doing wrong. Replicate what they're doing right and improve on the areas where you think they're doing things wrong. For instance, there's a lot of popular YouTubers who are not the best experts on their subject. Maybe you know a little bit more about gardening or interior decorating or marketing or whatever than they do. Improve on those areas. If you just make your video a little bit better than whatever the other person's videos are, then you will ultimately end up great creating a monster audience for yourself. The second step to making six figures a year with YouTube is dedicating to delivering high value high quality videos consistently. You need to provide lots of value to your videos to keep people coming back. Again, it's the internet, it's a very competitive space. Make sure you're always giving people the best because otherwise people will not want to watch you. Ask your audience what they want to make your videos better. Get feedback. Again, the feedback loops are the most important thing. That's why consistency over time, you will learn how to be better and better and better and better until you are making six figures a year online with YouTube. I'd really encourage you to invest in high quality video and audio production. I often am traveling, but I've invested in a high quality GoPro camera and some mics to make sure that my audio quality and my video quality is always high. This has been an area I struggle not being a technical in video myself, but I also have a multi, multi-million dollar a year internet business, so YouTube really isn't my main source of income. I encourage you to make sure the editing is good, and that keeps people watching videos longer. And you can see, just looking at the popular channels, all of the editing effects that folks use to make their videos interesting. An example of an editing effect that I like to use is kind of talking in the third person. I'll say, why am I doing this? John's telling me to do all this editing stuff. Why is this so important? I don't understand. Is this really gonna make me six figures a year? That's one of the editing effects I like to use because I'm talking in third person. I'm trying to mimic what the audience might be thinking but you can just look at other popular YouTubers and you can see tons of editing effects. There's the zoom in, there's the fly-ins, there's a lot of stuff and you can Google that and find more editing effects you can use in your videos. And I'm dedicating to making the videos consistently. Again, I have other topics on 
consistency in YouTube channels, I recommend at least three times a week you upload new videos to your channel or else your channel will never gain a lot of traction and will eventually die. Three videos a week for six months is a good way to dedicate to really growing social media. And number three is study what's working and just double down on it. As you grow your YouTube channel, you'll start to see trends in the data. For me, I noticed a trend that folks love it when I show step-by-step-by-step -step -step traffic methods to do affiliate marketing. For instance, I show people how to make money doing affiliate marketing from anywhere in the world, any age, for using MySpace or using Facebook, using Instagram, using YouTube, using this, using that. And I've made about 30 videos that show people a step-by-step -step way to do affiliate marketing. But one reason I stopped doing as many of those videos is because I realized over time I was just repeating myself and coming out with low quality content. And ultimately, people would stop following me if I just continued to produce low quality content. So start making videos in your topics that are doing well. Keep experimenting with new topics to add variety to the mix. I got stuck for a little bit last year on one set of topics. And moving forward, I'm trying to add in more of a variety. You've seen the mindset videos and whatnot to create more interesting stuff. And look at any YouTuber, you'll see they have a variety of styles that they use in their videos to become a six-figure YouTuber. Especially lit YouTubers like this. <laughs> Donnie! What's up, what's up? We all wanna be this guy though, right? <laughs> what's up, bro? What's good, man? And last but not least, don't let your ego get in the way. It's all about what your audience likes, not you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button for the algorithm, subscribe and leave a comment. We're hanging at my boy Kevin David's place right now over here in Miami, M-I-A-O. I'm out doing some business traveling and whatnot. It was just Kevin's birthday, actually. Yeah, we had a big party for him. Shit's been lit. So talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. See ya. Bye.